The Sahil area has had eight coups since 2020. Is that correct? There have been a number there, yes. Who has been President of the United States since 2020? Of course, President Biden uh, was okay. inaugurated. And the I amount of Iranian missiles and rockets that's been fired has been vastly increased between 2021 and 2024. Would you agree? Over 159 plus attacks? There have been a number of attacks. The vast majority of those attacks have been ineffective. And can you tell me who was president during this time? Of course, it was President Biden. In uh, 2019, we were able to put 18 historic peace treaties in place called the Abram Accords. Do you agree that given the fact that it wasn't since 1979 for Egypt, 1994 for Jordan to normalize relations with Israel, that this was a very good step towards helping with the stabilization of the Middle East? I, I do agree with that. And can you tell me who put that in place? It was a previous administration, obviously. Can you tell me who that was exactly, Mr. Secretary? I didn't think so. Um, and, and under the attacks that took place on October 7th of 2023 that resulted in over 1,200 innocent men, women, and children being slaughtered, being raped, being taken hostage, et cetera, can you tell me who was president at that time? It was President Biden. In 2016 and 2020, we recognized that 12% of global trade goes through the Red Sea. And in an effort to try and ensure the safety and security of trade and commerce, which would allow us to keep our goods down, there was a designation uh, as a terrorist organization of the Houthis. Can you tell me who put that designation in place, sir? It was the previous administration. And can you tell me who removed that designation, sir? Of course, it was removed uh, by this administration. And can you tell me whether or not, just a, a simple yes or no, that we've seen an increase in disruption and attacks in the Red Sea under this administration? We have seen uh, increased violence. Thank you so much, sir. And can you also tell me who was in office in 2014, when Russians came across in Donetsk and also in Lugansk in Ukraine? President Obama. And can you tell me who was the vice president at the time? President Biden. Can you tell me when you saw the greatest uh, advancement? Six months ago. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and who and, was and the president at the time? If we, if we had the ability to... Uh, to my, my point in trying to understand this, Mr. Secretary, is that we have pointed out numerous times, as my previous colleagues said, that we are not safer now under this administration than we were previously, which is a contrary statement to what you've said, as I've just outlined. And not to mention the fact that your predecessors, let's just say in the Democrat administration, Secretary Robert Gates, he also made a comment that said, I think he has been wrong on nearly every major foreign policy and national security issue over the past four decades. Can you tell me who he was referencing in that comment? I believe Secretary Gates was uh, referring can you, can you just please tell me who he to was referencing? President Biden. President Biden. But, but so what we've established here is that we are not safer under President Biden that, than we were under President Trump. What we are establishing is, is that the Abram Accords was put in place under President Trump to help, and that the things that are occurring in Ukraine, in the Sahel, in Israel, in Afghanistan with the Bosch withdrawal would not have happened under President Trump. Gentlemen's time is expired. Under President Biden.